Okay, gonna try recording this again. Apparently my uh, video and audio isn't going correctly, but that's okay. So, we're gonna try and fix that. Hopefully this is the last time we have to do it. Uh, anyway, so we beat the castle. We have uh, killed Salazar and all his little minions, so, you know, that's cool. We're moving on to the new section. Gonna see what's going on there and just keep on trucking. So, stick with me. Gonna collect new treasures and hopefully finish this off pretty soon. to break it out to you, but Salazar is dead. Yes, it seems that way. Sadler, why don't you give up and let Ashley go home? Perhaps you are disillusioned with overconfidence, just because you killed my small-time subordinate. Sadler, you're small-time. Oh. <laughs> Rive in my cage of torment, my friend. Again, with that spectacular dialogue, let me tell you how amazing that was. I mean, it is just, you know, the greatest dialogue I've heard since, like, I don't even know, early 1990s, late 80s. That's almost as cool as saying, I pity the fool. I mean, that is just, like, the coolest line of dialogue. Anyway, if you can't tell that I'm being facetious here, I do apologize. Uh, it's kind of hard to, uh put that across and I really don't want to do face cam right now but anyway if you're seeing this it's probably Father's Day so for any dads out there it's uh, happy Father's Day if you're watching this later on then you know kind of just wait till Father's Day or whatever I don't know do something like that and again if you're watching in succession I do appreciate it leave a like and a comment if you like this Leave me some suggestions about other games you want to see, or if you want to, you know, see uh, more variations on this, different weapon usage, anything like that. Because, like I said, this is a multi-playthrough game. Uh, I actually do have to beat this on professional mode to unlock a certain weapon, which I do uh, like to use. Again, getting to this section, we're just collecting some random treasures. The emerald is actually the replacement for the velvet blue and the sp spinels, which are still around, I suppose, in small doses, but, you know, just for that sort of section, or this this new section here, the emeralds replace those, and they are um, a higher value than the other two. So there is that. Again, there's not really anything to look at over here. And we don't have a map yet, so treasures we find are pretty much just the ones I remember. If I have to backtrack, I think I can go ahead and get away with that with the next merchant. He's not far off, but we do have to do a little bit of work to get to him here. So, again, we're working with no treasure map now because we are out of the castle. The castle map will not work in this new section. Uh oh, we hear cries of help. Who could that be? Who could that be? I just don't even know. Again, if you don't want to have to worry about the spotlight, the easiest way to take care of that is... Knock it out. Alright, so we've taken care of that situation. Just so we can stop the cries. Alright, we see Ashley getting taken away. Nothing new. We've seen it like, I don't know, maybe three times before now. So, that's cool. I'm just gonna, you know, let that happen again. And again, Leon definitely probably had more options than this, but, you know, they're just kind of letting it happen. We have a whole bunch of rifle ammunition. I don't even know where I acquired it. And a whole bunch of health items, too. Uh, I guess that battle with uh, Salazar was uh, in our benefit. Again, to try and not trigger anybody, try to stay at a distance from these zombies, make sure they don't see you, because they will call their buddies. 
Um, and you'll see here in a moment why I'm trying to stay in this back area, but just if you see any random zombies all around, go ahead and pop them in the head. I hear electrical buzzing. We're actually going to see some new zombie friends. If you couldn't tell before, uh, there was a, a new, uh, new Ganado, or at least a new Ganado type for this area alone. Okay, I'm going to push a little bit forward here. This is probably going to trigger the event, but, you know, we're just going to take it as it comes. Yep, there he is. Okay, so now we have Ganados with the uh, giant chain machine guns. We're going to run behind this wall. Wait for him to stop firing. Get a close-up on his face. And again, you know you've done significant damage when his uh, hat comes off. Just try and keep this distance. Just keep popping him in the head whenever you can. And after a few rounds, he should fall flat on, or flat on his face. I'm sorry. Uh, we're actually going to go over the shotgun now. No, no, no. You know what? We're going to try a flame grenade. We're going to see if that helps. Okay. We have three of these. Let's go ahead and use them. Oh, I burned myself. Nope. Get behind the wall. Again, using this wall as a defense is a good idea. Okay, and we can still attack him from the other side of it. Nope, another flame grenade. Uh, let's see, can we get away with another rifle? We're going to try it. It's probably going to kill me, though. Nope, there we go. All right. And again, I make that look a lot simpler than it is. Uh, I think in this PC version, these zombies are a lot faster, though, so I'm going to try, try to just make that a big known factor. Uh, cause consoles, these guys are like running at me, and instead they would normally be walking. Uh, especially in the Wii version, I think they tried to make that even simpler because of the new shooting mechanic, but the, uh, PC is being very unforgiving, even on normal mode, which is, uh, my excuse for why I died nine times. It could just be the fact that I'm just getting really bad after all this time, and my age is a factor, who knows, but... Oh man, alright. Again, the musical cues are uh, just significant of the zombies being around. And just so you know, I know Ashley was taken away up into that doorway, but getting there quicker or slower doesn't affect how far down the line Ashley goes. And I've tried many a time to see if there was any variation, which would have been cool, but nothing actually changes. Okay, I hear somebody. Anybody? Maybe up above? Up oh, there. And again, these guys have armor. So we want guns with piercing effects. And, uh, you know, something that's not going to cause issues if we do ha manage to hit their body armor. Looks like the reflector rotates. Rotate the reflector. Yeah, we're going to try and get... Oh my goodness, I have to use the mouse. Alright, we're going to try and get this uh, as simply as possible. I think what I want to aim at is this rock here, or somewhere like right in this section. So we're going to keep it right there. I probably have that in the wrong rotation, but we're going to find out. And if I have to correct it, I can do that later. Again, this is an area where zombies cannot get you. So if you want to stay up here and just wait for them to climb up, you can. And, uh, you know what? This is probably the time to exercise that ammo conservation I was talking about, because we are going to run into some heavy, heavy enemies, especially on this island. As you can see, they have new weapons! Especially with their, uh, lightning... their, uh, what do you want to call them? Taser rods, or something? The cattle prod? I guess that would be the correct terminology. It shows up in RE5 as a usable weapon. Uh, however, unless you're going for the achievement for the cattle prod, I would not recommend using that weapon at all. And if you want to talk about ineffective knife play, you go ahead and play RE5. The knife is your best friend in RE4 and any other RE because 
You run into... Oh gosh, crossbow right into my face. Forgot about this all completely. Took care of that problem. Here's somebody knocking on the door. Shot that one in the heart. I wonder if he dies instantly on the impact. And again, I'm just waiting out these zombies. Um, I could actually probably jump down on somebody and just use the shotgun here. Because I do want to collect these treasures. Boom. Nope. And again, he wasn't going to be able to get me through that box, so I don't know what he was thinking there. Oh, are you still alive? Not anymore. Alright. And again, what I was doing with the mirror up there was just trying to do a pre-setup to see if I could save some time. It may or may not work because I'm trying to remember the exact locations of where they have to be. And I think I know this first one where it has to be pointing. So we're going to try and see if I'm correct. Again, I hear another cattle prod somewhere, so somebody's got something. Um, oh, right there. Okay, you stay down, buddy. You stay down as well. Again, hear more zombies. Gonna try and stay in this room. Okay, he doesn't seem to be... Oh, nope, I lied. Okay. Come on, take your time. Boom, right in the eyes. Again, this shotgun, even at a distance, is doing the same amount of damage as it would at short range. So, I can maintain my distance now and still do the same amount of damage. And again, it's the most underrated sort of weapon that the game has to offer. I cannot stress that enough. Because, you know, I, I've heard many of people who like the striker and the other shotgun, I call it piso junko gun, but you know, whatever. Uh, I think what I want to aim at is actually not far off from here. I'm going to aim for that window over there. It's probably wrong. Let's see. Let's try to get it more correct with that. I think that's more correct here. Man, it's hard to tell. Alright, we're going to leave it like that. I'm probably dead wrong. So, if this misses, you know, that's fine. I'll, I'll actually take that. Because I am probably wrong. I'm going to go ahead and check that. The laser's going. Oh, we hit the mirror. Okay, does it hit the other mirror? No, but we are so damn close. It's almost scary. Okay. So, now we have to correct our laser beam. If you don't know what we're trying to do here, we're trying to get the lasers to connect <coughs> from the one <coughs> from the one side to the other side. Yes, it looks like the reflector rotates, I know. Oh my goodness, I was that close. Okay, so what you want to do is try to line this up to the left of the window versus on the window. So, we're going to leave it there. Go ahead and escape. And again, I was also so close with that other mirror. It's almost, it's really almost scary how I remember that after all this time. Uh, I honestly haven't played this game in, I want to say, maybe a year or two, so, you know, there's that. And I don't think there's any disadvantage to crossing in front of the uh, laser, but again, do not, you know, attempt. Because if you do, it'll probably be one hit kill. Alright, we've connected the lasers back to the door, so we're good to go there. And again, I don't think I've missed any treasure, but I think there's a possibility that I might have. So, again, we haven't gone too far where we can't backtrack. Gonna look back here. Oh, we have shotgun ammo. Alright, also good. Um, now, an important thing to remember, if you see that rock down up there, um, I'm just going to spoil this because, you know, it happens, but if you see rocks in conspicuous locations that are, like, right there, you know that something's up, so just kind of, uh, be ready for them. <laughs> Boom. Alright. Problem taken care of. And the zombies that pushed it off are nowhere to be found up here, which is strange because you'd think they'd jump down after the rock was being pushed, but they don't, so it's a little weird. Okay, again, we took uh, one slice of damage there, but, you know, that's okay. 
we uh, we can anticipate that. Again, we're covered up above by the bridge, so that's cool. Oh man. Okay, good, good, good. Again, it takes about two or three seconds for these guys to fire once they've lined up a shot with their crossbows. Critical headshot. So it's kind of probably be on the next three bullets here. There we go. Another critical headshot. Before we head up, uh, we want to make sure that we aren't missing anything down here. So we're going to run to the far end here. And this is just a window letting you know that, hey, there are boxes over there um, from the beginning of the level. So there's nothing new there. I think, actually, if you stand on the ledge there, you can actually shoot zombies in here. Uh, especially if you have a rocket launcher, or the infinite rocket launcher, which we could get in the second playthrough. <coughs> so remember that. But, yeah. Definitely going to be important to note for later on. Alright, and again, we had three gems. Alright. We are just collecting these uh, mini treasures, you know? Just a whole bunch of them. whole plethora. Hello, friend. Critical headshot right off the bat. Again, the closer you are, the more effective it is to get a center shot, so I think that does affect how uh, the chances are affected. So, do remember that. I see... Aha! Uh -huh. We have a light going on up there. Let's see if we can get it with a pistol. Uh, we're so close. Nope. Okay. I may have to switch to my sniper rifle. I really don't want to, though. Alright. Instead of wasting the uh, ammo there. Did I miss? Okay, I guess I can't affect the light. Uh, it appears I was mistaken on that. Um, I do apologize. I, I thought you could shoot the light. I definitely shot the light down below, so uh, that was throwing me off just a little bit. What we're going to do, instead of running out here in the open to uh, trigger events, is we're actually just going to jump over the window here. We're going to trigger this guy, which is a solo guy. Uh, there may be a few friends with him, but... Again, these guys are runners. These are the few guys that actually stay the same as runners. Again, you do not want to mess with either of these things. Do not get hit by that, because the stun will actually be of more of a detriment than the new head basher guys and again handgun saving the day I hear another cow prod okay maybe it was just the guy that was dying there the cattle prods still make their noises until they uh, disintegrate so just kind of keep that in mind red herb man we have an herb collection going on in here holy crap look at all them green herbs we got um, we may actually be able to get away with a three green herb combination Okay, and now this uh, red barrel doesn't actually affect anything except it has a secret entranceway for a treasure. And again, we don't have a treasure map yet, so you will have to kind of remember where this is. Again, once we enter this cave through the window that we jumped in, just kind of jump up the side here. And we get the Lynx, Golden Lynx. Go ahead and look at that. This is another combination treasure. Go ahead and examine it. Look how pretty this is. Golden statue with three holes. And again, this looks a lot different than it did in the PS2 slash Wii version. Um, I think it actually looks worse, which is kind of sad, but maybe I'm incorrect. I thought it was like a gold Lynx, and that one looks almost like it's made out of, I, I don't know, some sort of weird marble material. Or not even that, it looks more like it's rock, like a... Oh gosh, what do I want to call... Not, not granite, it's definitely not marble, what the hell? Um, anyway, uh, uh, just a standard white stone, I guess you could call it that. Alright, now once we go out here, we're actually going to get s seen by this light, which triggers our zombie friend to run off, and it triggers the archers to come out and play. Now, while they're making all that noise, they can't actually get us over here. Um, but again, you can hear there's quite a few of them. Again, why can I not shoot that light? 
That's a little weird to me. What you want to do is shoot the red barrel up there. But again, while the archers are going, it's a little bit tricky with the handgun. Um, I thought I was going to be able to pull it off, but again, my reaction time is not the best. Oh my goodness, RPGs, this is going to hurt. Ow! Okay, again, we have plenty of herbs. Shit, they're throwing dynamite and everything at me. I'm taking way too many risks here. Going to use that first aid spray. And again, resource management. It's okay to use health items, especially in this game. If you played Resident Evil 2, you remember that using first aid sprays or any sort of health item like that um, would affect your rating at the end, but we don't have to worry about ratings here. Nope, we're stopping that in its tracks. And again, an actually more effective way once these guys um, spawn would be to run over here. You get a good view of everybody and you can actually block that closer crossbowman, but I was just showing you a different way to do it. And unfortunately, it looks like the guy that was over here was farther away than usual, um, which is a little strange to me. Again, I'm, I'm playing on the Steam version, so I guess they've updated some AI mechanics, made them a little bit quicker um, for the more experienced players, which isn't a bad thing. Nope. Yeah, I'm just going to run along in this cave here. As you can hear, they're right behind me because they are loud. They are so loud. It sounds like they jumped behind me, but that is so weird. Like, I'm playing this in stereo and my ears are just lighting up with all these sounds. So, if you're watching the video and you probably can't hear them as well as I can, but it, it sounds like they're surrounded me. And I know for a fact that there's no way in here from the back unless, again, Steam changed something. Which I don't think they did. And again, all these critical headshots from the handgun. Even though it has a low attack power, the critical headshot is killing these guys with one bullet. One handgun bullet. And that's what we're looking for in a zombie effective strike, so... Even if it doesn't have piercing, even if it doesn't have high attack power, it does do just enough damage to take care of these little guys. Now for bosses, obviously, critical strikes don't affect them as much. Um, so you just want to use other weapons for that. So shotguns, rifles, magnums, all that sort of stuff. Again, this handgun is going to be my, my saving grace. Especially against these minions. Alright, is that enough? Is that everybody? Probably not. Yep, I hear dynamite. Where are these guys coming from? We're actually going to run up here. Forget that guy. I'm going to trigger the flame barrel. That's fine, we'll take that hit. We actually want to kill as many enemies as we can with that. So, if it killed three, that was definitely worth one hit, because I was going to get hit one way or another, I'm sure. Oh my god, right in my face. Why am I hit hitting? There we go. Okay, again, I wasted way too many bullets there. Because, again, I'm trying to be slick, and it's not working all the time. Actually, it's working none of the time, but, you know, that's okay. This dude with his dynamite stick, just make sure he holds on to it. Or you can try and shoot it out of his hand. Okay. Oh, that guy's back again. Still up top. Nope. You can hold on to that yourself, my friend. Wait for him to explode, hopefully. Nope. Nope. Okay, he's dead. He's gonna blow up. Boom. Oh man, and he dropped something. Okay, let's go ahead and see what he dropped. Well, hello. Didn't realize this was a spawn point for you guys, but that's okay. Just gonna keep knifing because we're this close. Boom. 
All right, problem taken care of. Still hear somebody with a. Oh man, aren't they? I don't think they keep spawning. He just dodged every single bullet I dodged or shot there. Damn, I knocked his head off with a melee. You know that's how badass Leon is. And I don't think I can actually get over there. So, oops. I thought I could. Maybe not. There's no climb up point. Yeah, I think it's just stuck up there. Which sucks, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll just hope it was like a grenade or something and not really anything too important. There's a switch here. Press it? Yes, yes we will. Again, with that uh, Los Illuminados emblem on the door. Alright, and this is our first merchant of the game. Welcome! Look, he has a sale sign. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Rare what things on selling? sale, stranger. Yes, what am I selling? Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, again, very, very staply sort of laugh for our merchant friend. Again, the emerald. Worth 3,000 pesetas. <laughs> Thank you. The lynx still has three holes. It's worth a lot of money, especially starting out. So once we get the gems, it'll be worth uh, quite a bit. Um, you're actually going to be quite shocked. I know I was when I first saw what the what are you buying? buy price was for that. We're actually going to buy the treasure map Is for the island. <laughs> and Thank I know, you. the maps look expensive, but it's okay. For the 9,000, we're actually going to pick that up. The Killer 7 is the new magnum of the uh, um, of the game. As you can see, its base attack is 25 power, which beats the uh, Broken Butterfly initially, hands down. What you're going to find out, though, is the Broken Butterfly, with its um, exclusive, is definitely way more powerful than that could ever be. Again, with the Mind Thrower, you don't want to yeah. mess with it. Uh, broken Butterfly? Again, it just looks like capacity. When we see firepower and then capacity, we'll think about doing the upgrade because it may unlock exclusive, which we do want. Is that all? <laughs> yes. Is that all? <laughs> Increase our Thank rifle. You. Aha! We can actually do the exclusive right away. Is that We're going to do it. <laughs> Thank you. We have a faster firing rate, so now we can fire rapidly with our uh, semi auto rifle uh, versus what we were doing before by waiting a few seconds for it to fire its second round. Come back any time. And that'll be our greatest asset here, especially for this particularly next or particularly interesting next section here. Cause as you can see we have zombies in the distance with crossbows. Let's go ahead and fire one that way. Okay, we triggered some zombies to come say hi. That's okay though. Again, they're running in a line down an alleyway, so Rifle has a piercing ability. We can get all of these guys in one shot. We got three done right there. And again, with the Rifle's firepower, we're going to go ahead and examine it. Yeah, with a 15 firepower, once it's fully upgraded, this is definitely going to be a greater asset, especially now. Oh, our friend there at the end decided to wake up from his nap. Unfortunately, it cost him his life, so, you know, there is that. I think we pick up some rifle ammo here. Yep, we got some more. Alright. So, we aren't fully stocked on rifle ammo, but we do have 24 rounds, which is a lot better than what we were starting out with, with our 6 or 5 rounds with the first rifle, if you remember back in parts 1, 2, and 1, 3 in the chapters, you know. So, that's okay. We're doing a lot better now. We have a lot more firepower. We have three exclusive weapons so far. We're going to work on our fourth. So it's all good news. All very good news. We're actually right where I want to be. And again, for the cost of the items we were using, um, let's see if I can actually look at my wealth. I don't know how to look at my money. Oh, there it is. We still have over 100,000 pesetas. We were actually up to five or about 500,000 pesetas before. So just remember, for any one game, you're going to make uh, about 750,000 pesetas. 
Um, towards the end, you're going to be near that million, which you're going to want to see. Doors locked from the other side. Okay. Oh, that musical cue. Ugh. And I'm just going to go ahead and kick open the door. As you can tell, I haven't been opening doors slowly since the beginning of the game. So, um, that's because slamming them open or opening them quietly doesn't really change much. There's no real stealth element in 1E1 section. Oh my goodness, stop, stop walking backwards. That's the one thing about their recoil. Even if I shoot them in the back of the head and, you know, you'd think they've fall the other direction. Sometimes they go backwards, so it's a little strange to me. So just keep that in mind, especially with those guys, because they will slash your face off. And they can get multiple hits in in any one particular moment. You can hear some flies. Let's go ahead and examine some things. Let me see if I can trigger something, actually. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Nope, nope. Nothing to search. Nothing to check. Ah, oh, here we go. Cans and jars and non-perishables. Reminds me of my days of O-R-E. Um, not sure what O-R-E is. I think it has something to do with his training to be on Secret Service or, you know, CIA or whatever he is now um, for the president. Go ahead and check the meat. This meat's rotten. But I sure could use a fat, juicy steak right about now. So even though he's in a room filled with smelly meat, He's still worried about getting a freaking steak, so... <laughs> Alright. Now, for anybody who's unfamiliar with this, this may be a little bit of a shock, but here we go. And again, our pistol does more than enough damage, especially with its critical strike. So, <laughs> we've met, uh... Met Fire Zombie. What was he doing in there? Yeah, yeah, good question. What was he doing in there? We don't know. Taking a hand grenade from the sink. Gonna go ahead and check... Man, yeah, man, it's dirty. We just took that grenade right out of there. Uh, apparently his hands are just fine, though. He didn't even see him move. He was just that quick. Leon avoiding the dirt. And we can hear Ashley yelling for us again. And actually, I want to check the map, because I think I missed the door to unlock. No, yeah, nope, nope, I haven't hit it yet. Uh, it's actually further ahead. I don't know why that door is there to unlock. Um, doesn't really change anything. Again, we're checking the map. This was the starting area, all this little section here. Even though it took me a long time to get through it, that was it. That was all we got through so far. So, just kind of remember that. It looks like there's a treasure down on the lower level, which I do remember. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And we have, uh, what I like to call Mad Max Man. Ooh, again, critical head strikes. Again, for these big guys, you usually want to go with bigger guns, but with our critical effect on our handgun, we don't have to worry about it so much. We can hear somebody with a crossbow down here. And I hear somebody marching. And again, Ashley's being annoying in the other room. Shit, again, three seconds, and it's about as far as that goes. They are very unforgiving when they point that crossbow. Yeah, and we hear another guy that's alive. Gonna see if we can kick him. We can! Ow! Shit! Okay, he was behind me on the stairs. We're gonna run this back section here. Kinda get ourselves cornered in. We have plenty Plenty, plenty, plenty of shotgun ammo. It seems we've run out of pistol ammo, which I'm not surprised at all, because we have been using quite a bit for the critical head strikes. Waiting for you. Waiting. Again, he thinks he's so scary. And I guess I killed the big guy or something. Oh good, a spider head. I 
Again, I should be doing the same damage from any distance, so I don't know what's going on there. It's a good thing I got that spider before he got me. Uh, big guy, where are you? Oh shit, he's still there. And, oh my god, I died instantly. He did not come after me at all. That was so strange. Okay. Good news is, we don't have far back that we're going to go. Uh, once we entered this room, we actually hit a checkpoint. But again, that was that was just stupid of me. I, I don't know why that happened that way. So, we're going to go with the shotgun starting off. Just going to take care of the head right away. Make sure he doesn't pop a new one. Yes, yes, Ashley. And that is going to get old pretty quick, especially for anybody who's a new player of this game. Oh my goodness, where? Did he... He got me through the pillar? Jesus Christ, dude! He is fast swinging that thing. Alright, we're actually going to combine two green herbs, because I have a whole mess load of these. That should do enough healing for now. I think if I hit a little bit of the shield, that actually doesn't lower my accuracy, but we'll see. I think I've missed quite a few times anyway for this not to really matter anyway. And my death! Oh my goodness, my death. Oh my god, it's spider face. Fucking spit everywhere. And if he wasn't creepy enough, that wiggling just makes it all the better. Again, just creepy as hell. I'm gonna open this. We have a new gem. I believe that was the treasure we were looking for. Go ahead and look at the map. Yep, we have an X. That was the treasure we were looking for. I'm gonna go to the key treasures. Red Stone of Faith. Go ahead and examine that. Markings on the side indicate it was once set in something. I wonder what it could be. Oh wait, our Lynx friend now has a gem. Okay, that should be all for the zombies, though. Um, go ahead and check this. What in the world were they eating here? I don't know. Were they eating at all? Who knows? Ashley, you are so loud and so annoying. <sighs> okay, we have a yellow herb. We can actually go ahead and use that. So let's go ahead and combine that with a green herb. Gonna increase our health yet again. All right, we are so close to having a full health bar. Can't tell you how exciting that is, even as close as we are to uh, <laughs> a certain section. Anyway, so I believe that's all there is down here. So we're done with this particular error. We're gonna go ahead and check on Ashley in here. Grab the handgun ammo. Go ahead and round the corner and Ashley. Oh, it's just a camera. and it pulls up the map automatically to show me where she is. As you can see, we have quite a bit of a ways to go. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, take a look at the f larger percentage of the map here. So, in this section, you can see we haven't actually hit it yet. It's a new, brand new section on the island, but we don't know from where, or when, or how we have to get there. We just know we have to push forward. Check, they've turned off the camera. And again, how did they know... How in the heck was it possible that they knew I was in here? Was there some sort of a warning? Was the red light an indication of something? Like somebody hadn't checked in? I just don't know. Because, as far as I could tell, I killed everybody, and they shouldn't have been able to know that I was even in here. Again, we're backtracking a little because we actually passed a few lockers here. Um, making sure there's no new ammunition that spawned, anything like that. I think we're okay. 
but yeah, that am er, that one particular locker has about 5,000 pesetas in it, so you know, it's kind of good to backtrack from time to time just to make sure you aren't missing anything, especially when the game tries to force you forward like that. Uh, again, with these, we're going to go ahead and open some of these drawers, which seem to be sticking out. Any lockers? Um, as you can see, that door is opening. They throw their dynamite. This is actually where this shotgun comes pretty, pretty, or becomes pretty effective. Uh, there's actually so a few other ways to do this if you don't have a shotgun with this particular effect, or if it doesn't shoot that far. Again, another firing range with a new si six set of bottle caps. Go ahead and talk to the merchant again. Got some rare things on sale. What are you selling? He's got more things on sale. I wonder what it could be. I, I am actually genuinely curious because I'm not sure what he has. Buying? Oh, a tactical vest. Reduces damage taken by 30%. You know what? We're going to do it. We have 18... Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have 108... 181,000 pesetas. That's what I want to say. 181,000 pesetas. Will still be in the 100 zone. Thank you. We're going to put on that vest because we're cool. Uh, going to check our upgrades. See if anything's changed. Butterfly, nope, just the capacity again. Uh, Striker and the Killer 7 are upgradable here. I don't know why the Killer 7 is upgradable here, because you don't really use it in this area at all. Again, as you can see, our vest is on. Don't we look hella sexy now? It is on our body. We're going to take less damage. We're going to check this room, just for shits and grins. Again, the last few times I've been in here, I've been incorrect because I thought there was items that would be lying around. I think the first time we actually found some ammunition, but other than that, we haven't actually found anything since then. So again, pretty much the same standard room, same area. If you talk to him, you can go ahead and do the target practice game and be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Same rules, same game, nothing changes. Alright, we actually stopped the doors from opening out there. Now... If you don't have the shotgun, and you haven't upgraded it all the way, which, you know, is understandable if you're not doing the uh, uh, this shotgun, or if you don't like it, or if you want to use a different variation. If you have a grenade, it actually is fairly effective for taking care of those guys behind the door, because what's going to happen is, they're going to open the door, and just keep doing that. And if you try to get close, you can't actually get through it. So what we want us to do is try and stay right here where we are. Oh, I missed. I missed terribly. I feel bad. Wait for it. Okay, we actually got it that time. Just aimed a little bit higher and to the right. That takes care of our problem, but we aren't done yet because the door is still down. Again, doing the same damage at a distance as we would if we were up close. And again, if you have two grenades, that makes that trick extra super easy. So, we're actually done with that. I think there is one more gentleman in there, but the door is going to stay open for us now. Go ahead and collect these. As you can hear, there's another guy in here, but he doesn't know we're here yet. Oh, here we go. Boom, taking care of that problem. Go ahead and knife him a little bit. And with this vest, we're actually going to be able to survive a lot better. We're going to be able to take a lot more hits, uh, which is good, especially for me. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me just tell you how awful I've been, especially in the last few sections. I, I had some saving grace moments, but, you know, other than that, it's just like all been luck. Alright, and again, this is what he was using. He was looking through here to see where I was, and then pulling this handle here to open and shut the door, if you couldn't understand that, so that was the guy doing it. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything going on in here. Making sure we don't uh, miss anything with our uh, map. Alright, looks like we do have a treasure up in here to the left. 
Let's go ahead and see what we've got, shall we? Open the door. Taking a run to the left here. Now, what we're going to do is going to unlock this door. I don't know why we unlocked this door, because it will take us back to where we started this map, but I, I don't understand why that shortcut's there, per se. Um, I don't know if it triggers something new way back where, but we've got a brand new brass pocket watch. We haven't seen one of those since the beginning of the game in the village, so there's a save point if you need it. Of course, we've entered a new area, so it acts as a checkpoint. Not going to worry about it since I'm going all the way through the chapter, or the chapter section. Again, it's a little bit weird, because you'd think that each of these would be a new chapter and everything, but sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. Now, a new feature. Instead of trees, we have glass. So what you want to do is make sure that there is no treasure above in the glass sections. Um, in some areas, you'll actually see that gems fall down from the ceiling. And we're actually going to find a treasure, I believe, later on that does that. Um, now, another thing we're going to run across is a very, very tricky enemy. Um, which is another reason why we've upgraded our semi-auto rifle all the way. Um, and we'll, sh we'll show you here in just a minute what we're talking about. Going to round the corner, and I think we're going to find our new friend. Actually... Nope, he's not there yet. Okay, that's cool. That is definitely a good thing. Did not want to meet our new friend quite yet anyway. So, you know, that's cool. I'll, uh, I'll keep it that way. We have a box. Again, double knife just to make sure. We have the magnum. Again, my mouse. You can see it's trying to take over there. So I'm not crazy. It's actually doing that on its own. I wouldn't do that to myself, you know? And I do recommend plugging in a Xbox or a PS3 controller, whatever whatever works for your computer system if you're playing this on Steam. If you're playing this on the PS2 or the Wii, you know, you can just go ahead and, you know, finagle with your controls. Some kind of research equipment. I wonder what it's used for. Oh boy. Doesn't that look interesting? And actually, what we're going to do, before we bother moving on anyway, is we're gonna, you know, go in here. Oh, it's locked. Something must be blocking the door. Well, that's cool. We won't worry about it then. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter what I do, because uh, we don't have the scope yet. We will come back to say hi to our friend, though, uh, so don't worry about that. Operate it, yes. Okay, this is actually fairly simple. As you can see, there's an arrow up in the top left-hand corner. What we wanted to do is connect to the arrow in the bottom right hand corner. So, if you follow the lines, we first start off with a blue. There's no other way around it. So, we just rotate a blue. We're good there. Now, as you can see, the yellow goes into the green. So, we're going to go ahead and rotate the green. Rotate it again. Alright, so, we have the blue connecting to the yellow. The yellow is connecting to the green. The green's connecting to the yellow. The yellow is connecting to the blue. And then the green's connecting to the red. So, if we change the red, it won't affect any other colors. Go ahead and do it one more time. Alright, we've completed our puzzle. So again, it's just one of those follow the line sort of sections. You know, they, they try to make it as simple as possible by making it look complicated, but you know, it's, it's really not some of these puzzles. Uh, they're very forgiving. Luis's memo number three. We haven't seen one of these in quite a while. The hideous creatures known as El Gigante are the Novis Stadadores and the Novis, the, the Novis Stadadores, which were the bugs, are merely a byproduct of the diabolic and, and inhumane pro, er, experiments conducted on specimens that were once human. There's one type of creature that nearly distinguishes that clearly distingu distinguishes itself from the rest. These cr creatures are known as the regenerators. Regenerators have sup superior metabolism that allows them to regenerate their lost body parts at incredible speeds. So basically wolverines, if you want to think about it that way. And they even do have the claws and the needles and yeah, they'll come after you. Anyway, I've never seen anything like it. 
It is this characteristic that makes them almost invincible to conventional weapons. But like any living creature, there's a way to kill it. Thank goodness. Apparently, the plockers that live in its body are somewhat like leeches. They can be seen with the na they can't be seen with the naked eye. They can only be located through thermal imaging to stop its regeneration process. These leeches, these leech-like plagas must be located and then destroyed. As far as I know, most regenerators host a number of these leech-like plagas. To kill the regenerators, each one of these leech-like plagas must be killed. Again, they like saying leech-like plagas, so that's cool. And I don't believe we've missed a note so far. However, I haven't actually gone back to look. We've got the freezer card key. Definitely going to come in handy, especially for the next... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. What kind of experience was going on in here? You know, uh, that's a good question. What we're going to do with our friend here is... Uh, show how... Uh, how ineffective our weapons are, actually. Run away! We don't have the we don't have the proper equipment to handle the situation quite yet. So we're gonna keep going, and we're actually gonna go back to that room. I know that sounds like a terrible idea at the moment, but that's what we're gonna do. Oh boy. Okay. Gonna try and run around this guy. See if we can pull it off. We did. All right. Aren't we lucky? And we're gonna head off to the right. Oh. I uh, turned right too soon. Actually, we're going to go off this way. we got to get past the gate. And then to the right. Again, we do not want to fight these guys. But that leads to the freezer. We definitely want to get into the freezer. And we're safe, at least for the moment. As you can see, bodies must have been cryogen er, cryogenized. Cryogenized. Try and say that ten times fast. With the parasites still in their bodies. Sucks to be them. Oh boy, it does suck to be them. Again, Leon's thought processes are, are just baffling to me, especially in this scenario. Me at this point, I'd have been like, man, I just want to go home. Fuck this shit. <laughs> but, you know, he's got a he's got a problem of his own, doesn't he? So, it's actually a good I it's actually a good thing that we he's gotten this far and we'll uh, we'll learn why re or later frozen shut. Oh, goodness. We have to take care of that, don't we? Check this. Must be a card rewriter. Maybe I can rewrite the data on my card key and turn it into another card key. Let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So, data on the card has been rewritten. We now have the waste disposal card key. Alright. So now we can move on, but before we do that, turn it off? Yeah, we do want to do that. Alright. This is the time for the rifle. We're actually going to remove the scope, and you're going to see why here in just a minute. And just to point out what I'm talking about, the scope is actually a lot better um, than this. And I know that sounds strange, because this already has a scope on it, per se, but we definitely want the other one. It's kind of funny, but this one looks more lively than the rest of them. Um, he's got some interesting eyes and teeth going on there. Wonder if we could, if we could touch him. Actually, I think he'll uh, fall down after a set amount of time, no matter if I grab this or not. So let's try not to uh, play around, shall we? All right, we have the infrared scope. Oh boy! Again, another skippable cutscene. If you want to save some time, because it will help you in the end. Because he would still be on the floor had we skipped that, and you know it would have helped us out immensely. We don't really care about uh, how far away that is, um, but we're going to move it anyway, just to uh, not piss anybody off. Let's keep our scopes together. Try and get out of this room as quickly as possible. Got one. Oh. Got two. Alright, again, the exclusive upgrade definitely makes firing this weapon a lot more efficient. Especially, even at close ranges now. Uh, normally, I wouldn't recommend a rifle at close range, but this rifle can actually pull it off. Um, the regular rifle can also use this scope, I believe, but uh, it really is only good for um, its uber attack power after you've upgraded it. 
Uh, again, we want to combine just to make sure we have full health. There we go. We got two green herbs. And again, we're going to we're going to keep running into a whole mess load of herbs. So don't worry about using a few in this sections or in these sections particularly. As you can see, with the piercing ability on the rifle, we can actually shoot the Plagas through his body. So just try to remember that. For some, it works better than others. We can actually hear the guy behind me, which is a little bit freaky. He's not through the gate yet, which is good. And that's one of the things about the noises that these guys make. If you hear it, they could be a mile away or they could be right behind you. And it's a little disturbing because that breathing is definitely um, kind of iffy for me. <laughs> it uh, makes me feel uneasy. I'm sure it probably makes a few people at home feel uneasy because that wheezing is just not cool. And actually, to be safe, what you could do for this particular one is just stay in this room over here on the side. I actually knew he was going to be over here in the corner because he's particularly slow. And again, there's there's really not too much of a reason to be in this room. But I do like to collect all the items and that's what we're trying to do. We're going to see if he drops some money for us. He does! Again, for five grand each, using a few rifle rounds is not a bad idea. Okay, we got another emerald. Make sure there's nothing else. Can we break the glass? We can! Can we jump through the glass? Nope, nope. That would be far too far too efficient, far too easy. Again, the thermal is um, different. It, um, it shows some interesting aspects. Let's go ahead and look at our friend here. As you can see, they're cold, so that means they're dead. They will not come back to life. Um, this actually works, I believe, on zombies that are playing dead. And I don't know that we come across too many. I think there's like maybe one or two um, that we did come across that were acting or pretending to be dead. But I can't, I can't recall. I know that was definitely an aspect for later RE games, uh, especially... 5 and 6. And again, I like 5 and 6. I know a lot of people don't like those games and they're like, oh, well, it's too action-y and blah, 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 blah. Resident Evil 5, you know, following uh, Chris is actually, you know, not that bad of a game. Um, it's it's not too far off from the concept that they were, they were going with and him joining the BSAA and all that was uh, fairly awesome to me. Now, as AI, if you don't have a partner who knows what they're doing, like online or anything, the AI partner does get in the way. But the good news is the partner actually has a weapon, unlike uh, Ashley in this game. But again, even in this game, they were trying something a little bit different. Oh, man, there's a whole bunch of noise going on out here. I wonder what's going on. And again, this is a particularly long section. We're still in chapter 4-1. So. Alright. Now, here's what we're going to do. As you can see, the best way to handle this is to get these first two. What you want to do is line up the shadow and try and get it centered. And then go ahead and activate the claw. So, instead of following the claw, what you want to do is follow the shadow, which is on the ground and then center it like dead center it has to be dead center it can't be off to the side can't be anything like that go ahead and grab this guy and you only have three attempts with this claw which is just enough to take care of all the zombies in this room now if you don't want to use the claw you definitely don't have to um, if you want to collect items from these guys. However, I don't really think it's going to be worth it. So, especially for the minimum amount of uh, money that we've been getting. Check. They must have activated the safety shutdown switch. It's no longer operational. 
And again, safety shutdown switch. I don't even know where that would be. Um, going into the further sections. I know they kind of try to point something out like that, but I don't think that's actually what it was. It's it's very, very weird. Again, what you want to do, it's a waste dump, maybe it leads to the lower levels. Okay, that's cool. What you want to do is try to check these dumpsters. Uh, there is going to be something somewhere. I don't want to be a liar. Oh, I think we had it. Okay, again, I think if you get too close to the edge there, you're just gonna check the dump, or the uh, lower levels, as he likes to call it. Okay, moving along. I think we do run into a merchant fairly soon here, which would be a good idea, especially for all this junk we've been collecting from the TMP ammo and everything else. See, the security switch for the door on the left, so I think a safety switch would be in here or something, but that would mean somebody had to press it, and I don't know where they would have done that, so it's a little weird. We have a new yellow herb. We have yet another herb. And I, as you can see, we have a whole mess load of herbs going on in this uh, attache case. Uh, go ahead and check the lockers. A flash grenade. That's a good idea. Go ahead and keep one of those. Um, entering the next section. I don't think we've missed any treasures, so we're going to look on our map just to make sure. Oop, I said map, not the key treasures. Okay, so, where we came from was the section back here, in this corner, and we've actually progressed, again, just a very short distance, but these winding hallways and these returns and going back and forth makes it a little complicated, but as you can see, we're close to our destination, which is Ashley, if you couldn't remember. She's knocking on doors, she is really pissed. Handgun ammo? Okay, we'll keep it. Now, once we round this corner, we're going to find uh, two of our buddies here. What you want to do is make sure that you still do not shoot Ashley. Oh my goodness, I did terribly there. So, yeah, we're not going to play this game. Um, actually, no, 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 don't want to waste it. Um, we're going to use our green and yellow herb just because we took a hit of damage. So turn a disadvantage into an advantage if you can. I can't recommend that enough. Okay, took care of the head. Again, even if you do a body shot with a shotgun, its knockback effect is definitely going to be helpful for these close combat encounters. And just to get her to shut up, you want to get close to this door so she won't say anything anymore. Um, can't open it. We need a card key. So we're going to continue on. Bye, Ashley. No, again, no dialogue goes on. Leon says nothing, which is a little strange to me, but you know, we're just, we're just going to accept it. We, we kind of have to. Our Resident Evil doesn't give us a choice here. Here's somebody with a crossbow. Not too thrilled about that. Again, our shotgun, even from a distance, is doing some heavy damage. And again, even if the other shotguns are more powerful, we are more interested in the knockback effect. And if that works from a farther range, all the better. Take care of the crossbowmen. Um, melee fighters have to get close, but if those guys are still alive, they'll just shoot from afar, and they don't affect their own comrades. So try to get the guys in the back first. Okay, have one more guy left, it looks like, I think. And again, don't take any chances with these guys in particular. Wait for them to get up a little bit. Take out their heads. And again, these guys are already dead. They're already being controlled by the parasites, so do not feel bad for them. Even if they are eating, they technically really aren't taking care of themselves. It's the parasite just trying to nourish itself and make sure that the body survives. So, yeah, just just think about it that way. And again, I'm sure 
plenty of people have watched, you know, shows like The Walking Dead and blah 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 blah. And they call them walkers or, you know, whatever, but pretty much if it's dead and it's being controlled by an entity that isn't known and they're trying to attack people, it's a fucking zombie. I don't care what you call it. It's a zombie. I'm gonna go into this room since it's not green. Or not a green door anyway. It's a save point. Easy to remember. Alright, we're gonna enter in a new section of the building here. Gonna go ahead and check our map again. Make sure we haven't missed anything. Okay, no treasures in this area. And that's a little, uh, that's a little strange, because there's normally at least one or two in any one area, so not having treasures for quite a while is a little, um, disheartening? But let's just call it disheartening. Uh, again, you may notice I equipped the rifle. There's a good reason for that. Uh, we're gonna notice it real, er, real quick here, um, in just a second. Again, this is another skippable cutscene if you want to save some time and, uh, you know, get to the combat quicker and he'll be farther back than before. As you can see, this guy's got four. And this is, uh, still a regenerator, but is a super Iron Maiden regenerator, so, yeah, this is, uh, more hefty than the rest. And you can see there was one in the back. What we want to do is aim for the center of the torso and go ahead and shoot it. Aim a little high. Oh goodness, he tried to grab me. Gonna head back. I guess it is, uh, I guess they changed this a little bit. But it used to be you could shoot him in the back and it would take care of it. Otherwise, if you do enough damage, the uh, Plagas will uh, not be able to handle it. We got the storage room key, which is the key we need for Ashley. So we could technically just go back from here to Ashley, but, you know, we want to do some searching. And I, I know we've passed a few of these before, but these do explode. Nothing in particular happens with it. Doesn't affect anything. There's no treasures to be found from those, but, you know, just in case you were wondering, those do explode. They do a considerable amount of damage to the uh, regenerators. But again, if they're just starting off in the room, they will regenerate and, you know, take advantage. Check. Looks like living tissue, but from what? Well, you probably do not want to know, Leon. Uh, as you can see, this is the experimental laboratory where they were doing the uh, horrible experiments. We got another red herb. Good lord, we're herbing it up. You know, it's all 420 in here, just all day long. Just please! Anyway, taking some wise advice from Ray from Rooster Teeth. I love that man. Uh, if I could have his children, I would. Uh, no homo. Actually, you know what? They're gonna take a lesson from uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged and just say all of the homo. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna make references all day long. Again, these sections, there's no more enemies to worry about until we start heading backwards. So... We can actually just take our time collecting things. Again, this is the same door that was down there. I don't know why this one isn't openable versus the other one, but for some reason it is. So don't worry about that too much. Um, we're going to break some stuff just because we can. The ones here are larger and more grotesque. Well, wouldn't you know it? They are larger and more grotesque. And, you know, just same dialogue, different day. A regenerator friend actually came from this direction, so we're going to go out here. What do we have here? Well, it looks like we have some crow friends. Let's see if we can shoot one without scaring the others here. We can. Oh, I think one flew off. Well, anyway, as you know with the crows, what we like to do is get a good arcing angle and go ahead and throw it. Looks like we killed all our bird friends. That's cool. Again, just collecting some free stuff from birds. It only cost us one flash grenade, and that's not too big of a deal, especially since I have four other ones that I need to use. And I, I didn't realize that I had actually been collecting so many. Cause I just took a quick count there, and I was like, wait a minute, I have four of these now. Alright, and I think we actually pick up even more grenades. Another yellow herb. Again... Yellow herbs are super, super important. I can't stress that enough. And if you wanted to go back and save Ashley, you would have missed that. As you can see, we're 
like a small section of health away from doing it. Just a very small section. We might as well just finish off Leon and we'll take care of that. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. And as you can see, there's no new tune ups, no new what buys. It's pretty much the same as always, so that's okay. Uh, that but we do want to get rid of the TMP ammo. You. Gonna get rid of any treasures that are in our way. Um, Is that all, stranger? Yeah, look at how much we're getting for those emeralds. Like, whew, man, <laughs> big sellers. Thank you. The brass pocket watch can go. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and if you're stupid, uh, I, I've actually seen people do this in the past. Um, but if you wanted to, you can actually sell your infrared scope. However, you'll never be able to buy it or get it back. Um, and I apologize if anybody got some bad feedback there just now. But, um, yeah, so don't sell your infrared scope. Don't, don't, you don't make that mistake. I've seen more and more people make that mistake. Now, in the second playthrough, you actually do get a Come second one. Anytime. So you can go ahead and sell that off, but until you have the first one, don't, don't sell that away. Don't, don't give that away for any reason. Now, even if it's, even if it's early game, um, especially starting out in a new round, because you don't actually need um, the infrared scope until you get to the section with the regenerators. And again, I'm just breaking these because, you know, they're breakable. It makes me feel better. Again, just wasting more time that we don't really need to waste, but, you know, uh, we're already over an hour in. Because this chapter just will not end. <laughs> and actually, once we get back, it will, but... Cutscene here. This is Leon. Request backup. I repeat, request backup. Damn. As you can see, we do have our tactical vest on. Now, one thing to note is, the tactical vest does not go into your attaché case. Um, I know if people have played Resident Evil 5, notice that the vests, the two different various vests, the melee vest and the uh, bulletproof vest, go into your slots, and you get nine slots. But you don't have to worry about that in this game. Once you buy the vest, you just simply wear it. So... It doesn't go in the attaché case. It makes sense in this game versus in the other game, which for some reason made it an item that you had to hold. Um, and I know some people are a little ticked about only having nine item slots for any one section of that game, but once you know what's going on after the first playthrough, you know you're you're pretty much golden. So it's not not really that big an issue, especially later on. And once you have the infinite magnum, you really don't use any other gun in Resident Evil 5 and it's actually one of my more favorite ones to do because unlike in this game you can't have infinite ammunition on all the weapons you actually have to pick up ammunition for this game for various guns except for the infinite rocket launcher uh, there's a Tommy gun and there's the uh, <coughs> secret unlock if you beat this on normal and then professional and you do have to do it in that order. I uh, believe me. I've tried to do it like uh, backwards, professional, then normal. Uh, I think it actually might still work, but uh, I know that one time I tried that, and I had to actually do it another time on professional after I beat it on normal, and then it finally unlocked a uh, secret weapon. There's actually another weapon you can unlock if you do mercenaries mode. Um, the problem with doing that is. Uh, you have to get, I think, about at least four stars with each character in each map. And then it'll unlock a new weapon for you. Um, and I may do some playthroughs off-screen for that, because that will take a considerable amount of time. Like, even longer than it would do for this playthrough to get that completed. Because you have to replay and replay. Oh, gotta go head back here. Gonna go ahead and hide under the staircase. Here's somebody walking. Are they actually coming down? 
No, yes, maybe. Nobody jumped down. Okay. So we're gonna take a risk here. Um actually, you know what? We have three regular grenades. We're gonna go ahead and use one of those. Let's see if we can get an angle. We can. Let's see if this will work. Throw in a hand grenade. Oh goodness. Okay, yeah, they are shooting at me here. Uh shotgun. Out right in the leg. Nope. Enough of your shit. And again, those guys are wearing helmets and what looks to be a tactical vest to help them with the uh, damage. So they're taking more hits now, but that's okay. We have range. Again, taking care of our problem children here. And I realize I do say again a lot, too. I, I really need to find a new term. Um, also... Yeah, let's let's try to, you know, switch it up. Uh, I know my dialogue is a little stale. Especially after however many sections I've been doing this now, but, uh, you know, I'm just trying to trying to do what I can. Again, just running through this section, nothing to note, uh, no treasures, nothing to worry about in particular. And this door will put us right where we need to be. Should be the end of the chapter right here, so we're going to go ahead and open the door. Open. Okay. Make sure there's nothing in here. Again, I'm just delaying the inevitable because I am going to end the chapter right after this. Leon. You okay? Come on. Let's get out of here. All right. Don't we look smexy with our vest on? And again, a uh, thing to note is. Depending on the costumes you give each of the characters, they will be wearing those costumes in the cutscenes, which I do like. Um, uh, spoiler alert, once you beat the game, you actually unlocked alternate costumes. And again, my death in this round was something that should have really been avoided. Uh, I really should have just busted out the shotgun initially and forgot about trying to be sneaky with the handgun. Um, but you know me, I, if I'm trying to be weapon efficient, then I do bust out the handgun. Anyway, I'm going to end the recording here. I know this was a long one. It's not quite as long as what we had to deal with in Chapter 4, if anybody remembers that. But uh, yeah, yeah, so we're good now. Alright, I will see you in the next video. Leave me a like, comment, or whatever else, and we'll go from there. Alright, later.